personal finance expert and MeVest founder, Leslie Ann Scorgi, joining us on Canada Now. And Leslie Ann, your latest article in The Star discusses six things worth investing uh, to avoid COVID burnout. Usually personal finance columns tell you to save money and trim in your budget categories that you're going over on. But this message today is particularly important because so many people are facing that fatigue zone with the pandemic, with the economic forecast, with inflation, fill in the blanks of what you're fatigued on, school, teaching from home. Um, today is about investing in things that will actually make you happy so that you could possibly avoid that burnout. And the burnout, remember, is, is actually quite costly if you don't do things to take care of your physical and mental health. Yeah, and while the burnout could be costly, the uh, the spending on wellness doesn't have to be costly. You can do that within a budget. Absolutely. So I think that's kind of where we start is like, let's focus your wellness spending on resting and relaxation first, because we all know that uh, fatigue, anxiety, uh, kind of breeds not sleeping well and not resting well. So in this area, you don't have to spend a ton, but it could be that you're getting a new set of sheets for your room. Um, you could be painting the room a little bit off white so that, you know, that will help you sleep better. For me, I am a very young mom and I'm going to be spending some money on a sleep training program for my five month old who is adorable, but doesn't sleep well. Oh, and money well spent. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. We and like a too. Absolutely. And like, I am also going to invest in the meditation app because in the off chance that both of my children are sleeping at the same time, I would like to maybe take a moment to, to rest my mind. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, again, I can't, I can't say it enough. Sleep training and paying for it is often the way to go. And it, it's worth every penny. And, and I implore parents to look into that because money well spent in my house, because you, you need that time as a parent, you need to yeah. go in the middle of the day and say, I just got to get to nine o'clock or, you know, in the morning, <laughs> yes. or, just to have that hour. Like, if you can break up your day to get to the nap times, it, it, it makes a world of difference. It is golden. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Maybe that's time you would end up spending on exercising and, and uh, not for me, but uh, maybe that's something you would do. But that's something you talk about in the piece as well is exercising. Spend uh, to, to look into doing that for sure. And it, again, doesn't need to cost a lot. You could go the totally free route, which is finding your favorite YouTube fitness trainer and doing 15, 30 minute intervals of exercise. We know, and you know this, if you're listening, you know this, uh, you know, five times a week, 20 minutes at a time is enough to get your total physique on track, but also your mental health on track. Yes. So talk about nap time. When my children are napping, that is when I am exercising. And I uh, recently, uh, we live in Ontario, there's been recent lockdowns, uh, invested in an exercise riser, an aerobics riser. Uh, mm -hmm. Fun fact about me, I used to teach aerobics a long time ah, ago. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I, I actually invested in a riser and a few set of, uh, of my last 10 pound weights, and that is completing my home gym. The whole thing, $145 is what I've spent uh, throughout the pandemic. Now, you could also be looking at me and going, that is not enough for me. I need a more structured program. And, and some people are turning to like their wellness credits at work or even like the Peloton bike. You know, they're, they're making big investments. And I would say, don't hold back. Just make sure you bake it into your budget. Yeah, absolutely. And, and by the way, I downloaded a free app. Body Breaks Hal Johnson recommended yes. that to me. He joins us every Thursday. And he recommended an app to me where it documents like your walks, your hikes. It measures, uh, of course, how, how far you go, how long you've been walking or hiking or skating, whatever the activity. And uh, it posts it so that people that follow you can see what you've done as far as being active that day. So he follows me. And uh, he sees what I'm doing on a daily basis. And it, 
it one holds me accountable to doing something every day, but also gives me something to look forward to. Because if I see a documented, then I go, great, look, I did 28 minutes yesterday. That's great. Well, I'm going to do 30 today. So when, when you see that, it, it, it does help. And the app was free. And it's, your, like you said, 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day. And it's, it's more for my mental health, really, than my, than my physical health. So I, I, uh, gotta, I, I dig it. I totally get it. And I got to tell you, you had me at Hal Johnson, Joanne McLeod, Body Break. I grew up yeah. on that. And just a few Halloweens ago, my husband and I were the Body Break couple for Halloween. No! Yes. Oh, I got to tell Hal You'll that. have to tell Hal. And <laughs> I am introducing you to Hal Johnson and Joanne yes, McLeod. Please. Oh, man. <laughs> You're going to love them and they're going to love you. That's amazing. If you've got, <laughs> if you've got pictures, I you've will, got to send them to me. I will send you the pictures because the, it's like both Tim and I grew up doing the body break exercises uh, with, with our moms at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, Hal's going to love that. I'll be to pass that on. Now, uh, we talk about exercise and what you're putting into your body, the costs of groceries and takeout going up but you still have to spend to eat healthier even check with your benefits provider this was a great tip you had in your article checking with your benefits provider to see if they'll pay for a nutritionist or a dietitian absolutely again check for your benefits first for all of these categories because you just might have coverage or even partial coverage so eating well right now with high inflation costs is going to cost a little bit more there is no way to cut around that However, I will say what's particularly interesting is if you unrefine your diet. So you actually go and start making your own foods at home so yeah. without the prepared foods that have all the salts and sugars in them. You will find that an unrefined diet, the food that goes into it is not that expensive. Beans, and oatmeal and raw fruits, raw vegetables. Uh, that is, that's actually fairly economical, including frozen fruits and vegetables, which sometimes have even more nutritional content than the fresh stuff, by the way, because it is flash frozen at the perfect ripeness time. Oh, so, interesting tidbit, yeah. right? Excellent. Yeah. yeah, that and that helps with making smoothies because I make smoothies yep. <laughs> and I'll use the I'll use the 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 frozen fruit because I I you know, I, I want to add fruit obviously to the fruit to the to the smoothie but uh, I want it to be cold and yes. uh, and that's that's perfect that's uh, I I'm 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 adding to it without even knowing it, it, where I'm getting the <laughs> uh, the uh, the fruit at its uh, peak. Uh, benefit. So, uh, so thanks for, for that as well. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, spending a little on reading and learning is something you advise as well. Right. Growing your brain, not a yeah. bad way to, to invest. So for me, it could be books. I, I'm a big course taker. I love to continue to learn. So I'm always taking different courses coaching, brain games, like there's so many cool things that you could spend money on. By the way, um, you can take courses often online as a beta tester for many course creators. So that means not paying any money and and actually helping the course creator work through different content. Oh. So kind of cool. That's what we did when we kick started our, our pivot during the pandemic onto online based uh, financial coaching and counseling for people is we had beta testers come in, test out our content. They got budget templates for free, net worth trackers for free. Um, and then they gave us feedback and that was, that was the exchange. So there's tons of that kind of stuff out there too. Excellent. Excellent. What a wonderful way to benefit from all of that. Uh, to mention another regular that we have on the show, Leslie Ann, uh, we have uh, Liz Beatty, our travel expert, joining us every Thursday as well. And sometimes we talk about a destination like, yes, we talk about the pandemic and how it's affecting tourism and how tourism is going to bounce back. That's all part of the conversation. But sometimes we highlight places to go because, yeah, you might not be able to go there right now, but you could plan on going somewhere right now. And that's a good thing to be doing right now, planning your next holiday. 
it, talk about visioning, right? We all need to start visioning what is that next step. For so many people, it is vacationing uh, and taking a break. Uh, my husband and I, we just went ahead and booked a trip for the spring. I, I don't know if we're going to go, right? Like, but it wasn't really the point. It was the act of getting totally prepared. Yes, we did buy uh, insurance in case things yep. get canceled. Uh, but the act of just booking that holiday, envisioning what it's going to, to look like and feel like was, was enough to just make us feel a bit stronger. And that's an option. These holidays don't have to be expensive. You could cash in your travel points. That's what we did, uh, which made the trip very, very economical because we've been sitting on a lot of points during the pandemic. Yeah, you've been collecting them for the last couple of years. That's for sure. (laughs) Mental health, getting back to that. uh, Do what you have to do to get support. And there are resources for those who can't afford it. Absolutely. There's actually tons of free resources. And my advice on mental health is really straightforward. Do not mess around with it. If you are feeling stressed, reach out to a friend right away. Reach out to some of those free resources. A quick Google search will reveal locally what's available to you, but there's also national support hotlines and whatnot. You can get instantaneous mental health support. If you are employed, do check your benefits. It is really interesting. I am seeing an an interesting pivot with some corporations actually boosting their mental health coverage, reducing in other areas, another conversation for another day, Uh, (laughs) but it's, it's to respond to the increasing need for mental health supports right now. So don't mess around here. Do spend some money. Uh, All of this can be baked into your budget. It is, in my opinion, worth spending some money on things that are going to make you happy and to take the edge off this burnout that we're all feeling right now. Absolutely. Check out MeVest.ca, personal finance expert, MeVest founder, Hank and Dot's mom, Leslie Ann Scorgie. Leslie Ann, it's always a pleasure, my friend. We'll do it again next week. Thanks, Jeff.